Teacher says she's just about had it this morning. She needed her breakfast in bed, and we didn't wake her up. <laughs> you got me, girl. Get it, Peachy. There you go. Did you hear Wimpy Joe? I heard Wimpy Joe. Wimpy Joe said, man. He did. It is, uh, this is the day after Fred. Fred didn't do much to us at no, all. Oh, thank goodness. We got I'm sorry a, for those that were impacted, but. Yes, we are. Oh, here comes the alarm system. They come and show us where, which way we need to go. I see that. They come up here, they greet us, and then they turn around and they run back. Oh, right back. We got, uh, all right, I know Pringles. Pringle is getting, look at her feathers, Oh, no, she's so beautiful. She is getting curly feathers. Her daddy is a Sebastopol. Yes. Which is cantaloupe. Yes. And that's the geese with the super curly feathers. And obviously her mama was a Chinese. Her mama was Meatball. Oh, who was a Chinese. Yes. Who was our oldest living goose. We have no idea exactly how old Meatball was, but she was really old. She was really old. She's no longer with us. She lived her life out. At our farm, I, if I had to guess, she was, she was, she was old. I don't even want to say Yeah, old. she was old. She, she was, was, she was fully, fully grown when we got her. Yes. And we had her for what, eight years at least? At least eight years. Uh, the people that had her, we're was, guesstimating probably around 15 or so. Yep. She is hey, certainly Nicole. beautiful. Nicole, I know, she just going to go collect eggs this morning. Here we got Scott. What's up, Scott? Not looking so pretty these days. Yeah. Scott is. Scott's shedding his tail feathers this morning. Speaking of cats. You know, she's got where she just loves to lay around in the shade now. Yeah, she's not on a feed barrel so much in the morning. No. Hey, Tucker. What's up, Tucker? Oh, Pete's coming. Pink's coming? Yeah, Pink coming is down the road. Way over yonder. Yeah, of course we got Sunny and Foxy. Sunshine and Foxy this morning. Hey, yeah. hey, Mary Carl. Will you throw the alarm system some feed? Thank you. She must have just known what you said. There's no way she, right, she couldn't hurt. She figured it out, though. Look, we got Bootsy. We got Fifi. And we got Capri this morning. And little Bo Peep over there. And oh. look at all the feathers. Look at Scott losing his feathers. Look here in the girls' goat pen. They're everywhere. I wonder where they goat are is. Everywhere. Look, they're all over there. Feathers, hey, feathers, feathers. We did get some rain. We did get some rain. Yeah, we did. Um, and it was a few storms, but nothing out of the ordinary here. What? No. Nothing scary or anything. No alarms went off. No severe warnings of any type. Foxy, you, you and Sunny want an animal cracker? There y'all go. <laughs> Who's right. that, Roomba? Roomba, you want an animal cracker? Where is she? Right there. Roomba, want a cracker? Uh, no. The girls said they'll have Roomba. What about, here comes, here comes the sheriff himself. You want an animal cracker? Huh? Say nugget. You want animal cracker? Come here, buddy. There's Loki and Sylvie, but I don't know here you go, buddy. what the other Look one's here. name is. Look, Nugget. Nugget, Nugget. said no, no, ma'am. I got things I gotta do, ma'am. For sheriff's work is, you know, you want me to go get some animal crackers for you? Hang on. I got one in my hand. Hang on. All right, here we go. Look at here. Look at here, guys. Look at here. It's working. Woo. It's working. It worked, didn't it? What's up, Skipper Chipper? They seem to think the last one you pour was the best one. Do they? Yep. Nugget, look, buddy. No, I'm going to clean boots this morning. I still have that one cracker I'm toting around. I bet the sea brakes would like it. Or what goat. Do you think? Goat must have been. Uh... She's laying an egg, I'm sure. Oh, if you... Here you go, girls. She, uh, she go. does lay in the mornings. There's all the animal crackers. Oh, she bought. <laughs> She took the wheels out of Loki. <laughs> Throw the sweet keg on him. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all come out. There's your cracker. All right. There's squash. Right, That's got it. goat partner in crime right there, squash. I guarantee goat's laying the egg, because otherwise she'd be over she'd here. She'd be over here. 
She would definitely be over here. Mary Carl, did you shut the alarm system off? Look she did. Right there. How quiet it is now. She's such so a good, quiet. good helper. She's an awesome helper. We get comments all the time about how great she is. She she takes it upon herself to come out and get started. And we don't have to tell her what to do. She no. just does it. And a lot of times I don't film because we only got one camera. Yeah. We all three have certain jobs that we typically do. And she goes and does hers, and I go and do mine, and you go and do yours. And That's right. We all work as a team and get it done, but it sure does help to have... It does. Hey, guess what? What? Look at here. Hey, did you sleep in this morning or what? What are you doing, goat? You missed your cracker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I missed my cracker this morning. Goat. Hmm. Oh, goat. She must have been busy. She had to have been busy. Speaking so, of being busy, we're going to be busy today. We are going to be busy. Big day. Big, big, big day. A big, big day. Is that Miss Lewis or Ozella? I believe it's Miss Lewis. Yeah, we, we have a big day. It's Huge been, day. We've been trying. Hey. What kind of hair you got? Ooh. Got a new one. <gasps> that is the bluest I know. Looking. <laughs> is that one that you hatched? Yeah. I can't tell if it's blue or green. Do you know when she was doing her experiment? Yeah. When she had Corny in with the lady. They're sitting all over. They're all over. So who's this? This is. No, where she is. She's blue. You she hatched her? Moves. Yeah. What kind of chicken is it? She's an Americana mix. Oh, she's an Americana mix. Look at the difference in the color of. The... That's blue. Maybe it's because that is she's blue. at the beginning of her laying. I think it's just her. Think it's just her? Yes. That'd be that awesome if beautiful. it stays that way, won't it? Yeah. Watch out. Here comes Nugget. Watch out. What are you thinking about? Huh? He's wanting to know if we're ever going to finish saying what we got big plans oh. for today. Okay, big plans. Big plans, Big buddy. plans. All right. Want to hear as, about it? As most of y'all know, we have bought a new farm, the Cock Hill 40, and we are in the process of trying to get things ready because we're going to probably be moved from the original Cock Hill by mid-late October. Yep. We got a lot of pens that we got to build. And but we got one that's coming along. And that is the new chicken coop. The new chicken tractor. My my dad <laughs> had her. a had a utility trailer. And um, he offered the trailer to us because it was just kind of sitting with nothing in it. Yep. But we now have some ideas as to what we're gonna do. Right. And we are going to get started on it today. That's right. Started on it today, and we've already bought some materials. Uh, we got our big thing is is that we were gonna put plywood because the old wood in it was not all of it was rotten, but some of it was rotten. It needed to be replaced. Yeah, it was it was coming up in places, this, that, and other. So we pulled it all up. Yes. So we removed all the flooring out of it. It's just a metal um, stripped. Yep, metal frame trailer and um, this fully enclosed fully enclosed so it has a door on it that right that goes up and down like a garage door sort of and we ripped all that old floor out and we were trying to figure out what would be the most well cost effective but beneficial well original plan was plywood and you had found some at a good deal on facebook i did it was um it was half sheets is what they yeah. called it and i'm not sure what it was originally used for but it right. would have it would have done well for what we wanted to do however it would have required us to put linoleum or some Something sort like of that, coating on, on the yeah. top of it to keep it the animal feces from rotting it out so and I, we would have had to put shavings or something in there to catch constantly that. Constantly putting shavings in it. And yeah. then I told you, I said, you know what? It just dawned on me. I said, I would like to put like a metal grate floor in it. And so we were able to uh, pick up some of that that we'll put in the bottom of it. That's right. That way their poop will fall through. We won't have, I mean, we realize we'll have to hose it out from time to time. But And we did the math. You know, this, was, this did cost a good bit more than the plywood would have cost. It did. But we did the math. And we will, it'll almost pay for itself within a, well, even less than a year. Yes. Because by the time we bought the plywood, right. put linoleum down, right. then buying shavings and constantly it'll, it cleaning it. It would have taken, yeah, four bags of shavings every month. We will we'll end up saving money within a year. We also picked up some hardware cloth that we plan to 
cut out window openings. Yep. A lot of y'all saw the trailer initially and you said, isn't that going to be too hot? Yes, it would be too hot. But we had plans from the get-go to cut out windows. A lot of ventilation is going to be added. And we also have a door that we'll put hardware cloth on yeah. so that we can enter and exit. The chickens will go in and out of a, a chicken door. And um, it'll be automatic to right. where they can go in and it'll shut behind them just like what we have now. Yeah, just, the, just like what we got now. And um, actually the dimensions will be very similar to what they're in now. Actually, it'll be bigger bigger because this is divided into two this coops. is divided into two coops i think once we get fit get done feeding yes we've got some clouds coming and the over, rain holds off if the rain holds off we've got the materials we need to get started and we'll take y'all along with us and we'll show y'all what we have in mind for our chicken tractor yes all right let's see what we got this morning hello 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 there's, there's Corny. What's up, Corny? And Mrs. Cockhill's favorite chicken, Miss Cleopatra, right behind him. What's going on, Miss Cleo? Corny looking quite handsome. Miss Cleo looking quite beautiful this morning. They're the Muscovies, the silent ducks. You gonna help with the waters this morning? Huh? Right. You gonna help with the water this morning? Look, Cantaloupe said he's ready for you to fill that darn pool up, Mama. I'm coming, buddy. <laughs> Look at him run the. <laughs> he ran the Muscovies off. He's an old man. He is an old man. All right, buddy. If you get out, I'll fill it up. He's real slow. He is very slow. Slow motion Cantaloupe. Uh huh. He got right neck. Yeah. And we thought he was gonna die, but we had some cantaloupe, so we fed it to him, and now he's fine. So the cantaloupe cured him. Yes. <laughs> he's gonna get in his little bowl. Look at him. Nugget said he will be first. Thank you very much. Everyone else can wait. By the way, I see that you're not wearing a ponytail in the no ponytail zone. <laughs> All right. That's a Rhode Island Blue right there? That one is too? That one is too? Yeah. Wow. Aren't they beautiful? A Rhode Island Blue. What do you guys think? What would be good names for these two beautiful Rhode Island Blues? We already got a Bluey, the turkey. So, count Bluey out. What do you think, Corny? What would be a good name for the Rhode Island Blues? Corny turned his head sideways as if he knew I was talking to him. I had to put the lid on this one. He was sloshing. So. Yeah, he does tend to slosh. He's not the neatest creature here on the no, farm. He's not. By far. Look at this little chick over nah. here. Nah. Yeah, look at this one sunbathing right here. Oh my god. <laughs> that one right there is enjoying the sun. Is that one you created, Mary Carl? That's a leg bar, yeah. That's a cream That's leg her. bar? Hey, buddy. What's up, old man? One of my, um, uh huh. I let them out yesterday uh -huh. or the day before because they were getting too big for the brooder. <laughs> They're getting big. This is Lydia. Is that a full size or a random Brahma? She's full size. She's okay. not all the way grown, but she's bigger. See, these leg bars are about her age. Okay. So she'll go in our new chicken tractor once we get moved. Yes, she right. will. And I can tell her apart because her head is white. Okay. And the other ones, see, that's one of them. Her head is not white. That one's got a darker head. Yeah, that's this one. That's this one? Yeah. Okay. And this one, she has a little bit of a brown tint to her feathers. I see. You mean keep him occupied? No. It's impossible. Maybe he'll get in He's water. He's just drawn to it. Nope, he's coming to my boots. So. Oh, it, it won't. It will not that I get this water filled up before he comes back. It won't happen. You know, our friend Lester over there at I'm a Survivor Sanctuary has a ostrich named Carl that he doesn't know exactly what uh, what uh, Carl needs to eat. I'm thinking Lester ought to get him some boots <laughs> and, see if, and see if Carl will enjoy nibbling on some boots. 
Look, check this out. Oh, the old man got in there, didn't he? He tumbled in. He did tumble in. Some uh, Some Mexican dude had to come get him. I told you he wouldn't leave me alone. Nah, he's back. He is back. But yeah, maybe let's try to get him get him some brand new pair of boots and wear them in there and see if Carl won't clean the bottom of his boots off for him. Or maybe, maybe he ought to fill up all the water is right there in front of Carl. Yeah. And maybe... I'd hate to know Carl was helping me clean up water. I wonder if Carl would like a pool. <laughs> Probably an end growing. Do ostriches like water? I don't think so. I don't, you don't? They're not like nugget... Either. No, we had no clue that emus loved hey, water. I can't get this in with him. It's impossible. All right, I'll hit you out here. No, All right, baby, now. I just need to put this little stopper in. Now. All right, Got look it. at there. Got it. Thank you. Got it. All right, let's get this back in this coop over here. Oh, cantaloupe can't wait. Well, he's watching the water. He's about, he's about to get in it now with it on. Oh, there goes ACDC in the look, background. Look. Oh, I can't. I can't stand it. Y'all gotta get in there. Woo! <laughs> Nugget, what you think, buddy? He beat you. Nugget said he ain't worried about it. Nugget's gonna go talk to ACDC. Rick, what he saying? I don't know. That's ACDC spot right there. He loves hanging out by this Yellow Rose of Texas. That Yellow Rose of Texas puts out a good little shade area right there, and ACDC loves to chill out right there by it. I hear you girls and boys. Yeah, fussing at me. Y'all fussing at me this morning. Except Bo. Bo Peep. Bo Peep's not fussing at me. So we since we got a uh pretty much the house site figured out. We are going to start uh setting up our fix fencing structure. For like the goats, Nugget, the chickens, Scott, the turkeys, the geese and ducks. We'll get all that situated. That was one of our biggest issues. Was we didn't want to put something somewhere and then realize we can't build our house where we wanted to. So therefore really didn't start anything but now now we can start planning and drawing out some fencing structures and that way we already got the goat shelters uh we're fixing to have the chicken coop set up uh we've got scott shelter in we went and picked up nugget shelter yesterday when we got the metal for the chicken coop so things are starting to fall into place a little bit all right, so let's go check on Thomas after his big day the other day when we let him out. Make sure everything's okay. I know some of y'all are gonna wanna know how Tommy is. And Tommy and Bluey are just fine. Ain't you, Tommy? Yeah. <laughs> yep, he's good. <laughs> You're good, ain't you, buddy? Old Thomas is good to go. All right, looks like we have gotten all the chores done. We're going to pack up and head over to the new farm, the 40 acres, and start working on that chicken coop. Show you guys what it looks like if some of y'all don't know, and hopefully we can get a lot of it done today if the weather holds off. What's up, old buddy? Hmm? What's up there, Tipper Tipper? Huh, what's going on, old buddy? Oh, buddy, buddy. You like that? Hmm? You like that, buddy? Hmm? Feel good? All right, boss lady. I know you're resting, so don't get mad at me. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Oh, we're fixing to head over to the 40. I'm fixing to grab some tools we're gonna head over to the 40 and we're gonna get started on the new chicken coop so 
Just wanted to give you an update. I didn't want you to think we were leaving the farm, goofing off. Anyways, continue nap. So we just showed up here at the 40, um, getting everything together. Uh, Mrs. Cockhill, we're gonna take the generator over there. So I have, I gotta do some cutting. So I need a cutoff wheel. Everything else is battery power, so. I got you something. You did? Yeah. Some tools? I got you a popsicle. I thought you had me some tools. I figured we'd take our popsicle break early. Oh, okay. That way we won't have to stop working. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll go grab the cutoff wheel and extension cord, get my safety glasses and earmuffs and start whacking away at the boats. You want me to get the generator out so it can breathe? Yeah, we don't want it right there. That right there be okay? Should be, I got a long extension cord. That way it won't be so loud. Yeah. Ready? Cool. Cool. Ready? Ready. <laughs> They're like my figs on my fig tree. Right there. He thought I thought I had them all cut off and I double checked it. And you saw it. Like 30 minutes later. That's okay. The metal would have seen it if I hadn't. <laughs> Dang sure would have seen it. Would not have went in. No. We're going for our first piece here. I'm going to slide it into place. Yeah. So this is piece number one. How about that? Well. It's not in, but. I'm not going to celebrate yet. On the camera, it looks like I'm walking on glass because you can hardly see the metal. Oh, I can walk. <laughs> You're walking on air. <laughs> oh me all right let me cut that notch out we'll slide this sucker over and get the first one in mary carl's going to get a marker so you can yes mark where you need to notch it out she's she uh she got her little beep beep so she don't mind helping when she can drive it around Plywood. Oh yes, by far. You couldn't overlap plywood. That's no, we sure. couldn't overlap the plywood. Oh, well, we weren't planning on overlapping this, but no. it just worked we, out. That's right. We had no intention of overlapping this at all, but it, it worked out good. It matches up. The edges are perfectly. smooth to where yeah. there's no transition from. You're not gonna stump your toe on it or nothing. It's just really, really good, and it really secures everything up when I screw it in. You can walk on it now and feel sturdy. Yeah, it should be better now, though. Yeah, it is. We thought we were going to have to make a lot of cuts, but that's not the case. It just overlaps, which is good. We also found another issue with it that we got to figure something out is this thing is like a huge seesaw, like a big teeter totter. Um, when me and Mrs. Cock Hill get in the back, this whole thing came down. Um, this garage door come and shut, missed your leg by a few inches. I think I would have had a been an amputee. You, you probably would have. It would have. It would have broke it in in half. That's it would have broke sure. your leg. You probably would have had a fracture. Um, luckily, that didn't happen. We didn't have the camera going when that went. Uh, <laughs> then it took us probably 30, 45 <laughs> minutes, maybe an hour, to get the garage door back up. Yeah. So that kind of set us back. So now we have an issue of this thing, you know, doing like this. So I think our plan is to put some type of stabilizer in the front and in the, and in the back. Excuse me. Um, we could do four by four post. Uh, there's, there's several options we got there. So I think we'll be okay with that. Just it, as long as it can't go up and down, we'll be fine. I don't 
foresee that being an issue. Um, we could get some of those deck blocks and put four of them. Yeah, we down, could do that. So that way the post or whatever we use won't be digging down in the ground. And what I'm thinking is like a U-bolt system where we could slide the pole up in there. Yeah, and so we know where it goes every time. Where it goes every time. That's what I'm thinking we're going to do. And where it won't so. take a lot of time to set it up. Right, and then we can set the U-bolt system underneath one of these rails so it will be a solid surface it's sitting on. Just a little, little, little more engineering we got to do, but I think it's going to work out really do. Um, so. We've discussed maybe possibly taking this axle off. This is, I hate to know how much this axle weighs. I hate to know. We'd have to cut it out. I don't. My tractor could get it out. <laughs> if you want to hook a chain to it, then I'll pull it right out. There's a glove under here. I guess that happened when the teeter went totter. <laughs> I think it did. I wish we had the camera going. Oh my gracious, y'all. It was pretty scary. We've already had one incident with this thing. It was funny, but it was scary at the same time. The other one we saw coming. Yeah. Uh, we, we had to take this tire off for my dad so he could use it on another trailer. And... <laughs> the whole thing toppled over. You had, was holding it up by the uh, tractor and the whole thing just kind of... Well, the blocks broke up. The, right yeah. There. Well, the, the block in the front, it all just it came off. But man, y'all look at this. Does this not look good? We're going to run us a piece of uh, plywood across the back. And that'll sturdy that up. And this thing will be... I'm talking about the floor will be ready. I am stoked. What about you? Next up is we'll start cutting out windows for it and doors. Let's go see what my boy Arlo's doing in the camper. Arlo! Where you at, Lolo? What are you doing? Are you sleeping in that bed? What are you doing? What are you doing? My gracious! Guess what? We got the floor put in the chicken coop, buddy. Yeah. That is awesome. You just don't know. Uh oh. Going outside? You gonna go outside? <laughs> Silly boy. Hey, if you've not seen our podcast channel where we sit around, tell stories, laugh, have a good time, go check it out. It's right over here. And I put a couple of videos over here that I think you may like. And as always, y'all be good. Is that right, Arlo? <laughs>